to a comic book. And, uh, you know, I, I read a lot of um, Japanese comics, uh, manga, and um, I wanted to make something that was kind of, that felt like those comics, but that also reflected my world, my real world. Um, you know, I'm from Canada. And uh, I was in a band. I just, I just wanted to have that kind of, I wanted to make that into a real fantasy world, um, even though it was kind of, you know, boring in real life. That's great, and uh, I think a lot of us actually can relate to, to it, even though we're not from Canada. Uh, but it's, um, you're obviously a video game nerd, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's a lot of video game references in the comic and mm. in the movie as well, and I really appreciated that because I'm, I grew up in the 80s and I'm a big uh, video game nerd myself. Uh, so I have to ask you the question, which is your absolute favorite video game? Mm. It's always hard. Um, and I don't know which ones you have in Sweden that I might have had that you don't have or anything like that. But um, I always like Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man 2 is my favorite. And um, River City Ransom, I don't know if you have that here. Uh, and Chrono Trigger. So, Ooh! Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, right there. That's good. <laughs> well, that's cool. So, what do you think of this game? The game? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I worked on it. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm good friends with some of the people who worked on it too now. So, uh, I thought it was fantastic. I thought we, we did a good job. Yeah. Well, I'm sure a lot of people here agree. Do you agree? Yeah, you play the Cup Pillion game? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Quite cool. Uh, so now I want to ask you a few questions about the movie. Uh, from what I understood, you sort of co uh, you wrote the comic at the same time as the movie was written. How did that work out? Uh, it was it was complicated. Uh, it, you know, they started working on the movie. Um, we started talking about the movie in 2005, when I was just working on the second um, book, this one. And from then on, it was sort of back and forth. Um, right when I finished the third book, I read the first script of the movie. And then I wrote the fourth book, and then they wrote a second draft of the script. So um, a lot of things from the script made it into the fourth book, and then things from the fourth book made it back into the script, and then it was sort of uh, cross-pollinating. and. Um, you know, eventually I worked on the sixth book at the same time as they were filming the, the movie. So I, um, that was, you know, I didn't live in, the, in Toronto at the time, so I would be visiting Toronto where they were filming the movie. And uh, I would have experiences and kind of go to restaurants and bars where I'd see my friend's band play, and those things kind of went into the book. So it's, you know, make, making the movie of the book went back into the book, um, which is kind of, it's, it's hard to explain, but it was really interesting. Quite complicated, actually. Do you do you track this idea? What was? Uh, we would forget a lot of the time. Um, so I remember on on set of the movie, we would talk about lines, and we'd be making up new lines, and and we would, you know, the director and I would be like, did that come from the book, or did that come from the script, or, and we could never figure it out. So, even a lot of the time, people quote lines at me, and I can't remember whether they're from the book or the movie. You could always just take credit for everything. Yeah, I mean, that's try. Well, you did actually uh, create the entire universe. So. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, now I would like you to ask questions because I'm quite sure that a lot of you have questions to to Mr. Rinaldi here. Anyone? Don't be shy. Hello, sir. Well, there's one guy waving. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Your questions, sir. Yeah. Sure. So the evil exes. Spoilers all around. Do they actually die? Because when Scott dies, he dies, dies, and they die in the corners. Something like that. <laughs> I don't like answering that question. Um, it's 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 complicated. <laughs> um, it's like it's like a video game. Um, I don't no, I don't think they die. I think they respawn somewhere. They go back home. That's what I always think. Is that good? Is that okay? Good <laughs> Alright, you had a question. Um, uh, did uh, did uh, when sorry uh, Ramona? Uh, she have many. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm really nervous. Uh, she have uh, many exes. Did you? Uh, how did you create them? Did you create them from games or comics you read or something? 
Um, he's asking how I created the axes. Yeah. Um, where, where the inspiration was. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. That's, I always kind of forget where that idea came from. Um, you know, it's just part of it's from a video game or from, uh, you know, from manga, from like, you know, something like Dragon Ball, where there has to be a lot of enemies. And I always thought seven was a good number for, you know, for enemies. Um, and then, yeah, they just came from little bits and pieces. You know, each one is kind of a reflection of Scott, um, in a way. Um, and then just all the random silliness that I, I like to uh, write about. You know, like a vegan uh, psychic. Um, and each one has their own sort of references, you know. Um, uh, I don't know. It's hard, that one's hard for me to explain. Alright, uh, you there in the stretcher? Yes, um, about Ramona's ex, uh, Roxy. Um, how far did they get? <laughs> uh, First of all, are there any children in the audience? <laughs> I, 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 know, I don't know what the expression is in Swedish, but, um, was it? She would never kiss and tell? Um, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. Oh. <laughs> Um, who or what was the inspiration for Wallace? Uh, I had a roommate, a gay roommate, when I was um, that age. So we, it, we, I didn't share a bed with him, but um, he was, no, he, the Wallace is very much based on my old roommate, like, who was very snarky and funny. Um, he was not as promiscuous as Wallace, um, especially in the movie, but, um, you know, I think he, he likes the character. He, he's, he's happy about it. He's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you like writing the most? What character do you like the most? That's a good question. Who do I like writing the most? Um, I always liked writing um, between Scott and Ramona. There's sort of the relationship or the, you know, the way that he's kind of stupid and she tolerates him. Um, and then Wallace, of course, writing all the jokes. Um, that was probably the most fun. And the least favorite was most of the ex-boyfriends, because I just get bored of them. <laughs> Which book was your favorite? Um, in retrospect, I think uh, the fourth book was my favorite. Yeah. Is that okay? Why? Why? Um, I don't know. It's, it's one of the longest ones, and it just... It, I think it has a pretty strong plot, but it also is just full of um, goofy stuff and jokes, and, and it just feels more lived in, I think, a little bit more real. Yeah. Uh, who is your favorite ex? Favorite ex? Mm. I think Todd. Todd Ingram. Um, just because he's, he's even more stupid than Scott. He's like, <laughs> a very stupid character because it's, it's so easy. Are you satisfied with the movie? Yeah. Am I satisfied with the movie? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. It's you know, the movie is very, it's very different from a comic. So many people work on it, and it takes so much time. You know, and it's really hard to see the whole movie before it's finished. So it's there's nothing that I would have changed. I think. Um, you know, did I did I choose Michael Sarah? Um, I didn't choose him, but I mean, no, I think he's great. You know, we 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 wanted him for a long time, and we talked about him for a long time. He was too young um, at first, but I th I think he does a really good job. Follow-up question. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. This is um, after I saw the movie. There was one thing that uh, vexed me a little bit. Okay. At the end of the sixth book, Scott gains the power of Stan.